I remember when Nancy and Patty pulled me into their office and their office was just covered with printouts. Visuals were already flowing through my mind and ideas around how we can visualize that was just, you know, I was ready to go. So my role in the project was really around setting that visual tone in the very beginning. The fortunate thing about being from a design company is we work with a ton of talented designers and as we narrow down the visual style, that person really popped into mind and that was Tyler. He had a very charismatic style, he is a great illustrator and I knew that he would push himself. Now Fabian was um, brought in because of his print layout, his typography skills, and his good design thinking. So we wanted to add illustrations to the Vigorscape because not only do they kind of lighten the mood um, and create kind of a continuity throughout the book, uh, but they also create kind of a visual symbol, uh, kind of a stamp on your mind as far as what you just read and help you remember. So we did a lot of exploration. We did um, chalk on paper, we did ink on paper, we even used crayons, and really refined that graphic to what you see today. We knew going into the book that we would use two colors, um, one being black, obviously it's the text, and so the other color, we're trying to figure out what that can be. We fell onto red, but we wanted the red to feel like a flame. We wanted the red to communicate not that it's engulfing you like a fire, but that um, it ignites uh, passion in you. When uh, Fabian and D'Angelo would chime in on the illustrations, it just uh, made them better and better each time. And that's what you want to see. You want to see something that is good, uh, that you did your best on, and then you're looking for that extra, like, how am I going to make this better? And then that's where uh, your teammates come in, and Fabian and Deandre in this case definitely um, with that kind of driving factor. You know, when musicians play music, there's this sort of like um, feeling of being in sync, right? I felt that whenever we collaborated and we were in the same room, we're all very different as designers, and I think that's what makes it such a great experience. Um, when the book came in, I was working at my desk, I had my headphones on, I was down, you know, working on a presentation, and all this clapping, I heard this clapping going on, and, um, and then Nancy and Patty were walking down, uh, and they had the, the book, the book had come and it had arrived, and um, it's kind of like that last stretch of the race, right, where they just felt like, wow, we really made it. We were looking at the cover, and we were touching sort of that varnish on the Illuminate text, and opening up that book and smelling the fresh ink. Anybody who's done print for a while loves that smell. <laughs> when, when I see somebody outside of Duarte reading that book, I think that's when it's really going to hit me. I'm going to sort of experience the book through their eyes. There are so many great case studies and stories in there that it brings chills when I read some of them. Somebody is going to see themselves in this and they're going to be able to make that difference. They're going to be able to share that story and somebody on the other end is gonna benefit from that.